Okay. Uh, hello, everyone. Um, this is a hard time after launch, but I will try to do my best. Um, the, the project is a Biblioteca Abierta that we can translate also maybe as a free library. Uh, on this project, we develop a thousand of uh, books in the, in the floor. Those are books uh, that people can take uh, freely to go. There's no other kind of exchange in this project. Um, and for me, the connection with architecture is this idea of one day building, uh, of somehow uh, the only matter that we use to build is uh, the books, not any other kind of uh, uh, architectural constructive matter. And we started uh, as a grid, uh, and then the, the, the project started to change uh, with the participation of the, of the, of the people. Um, also, besides of being this uh, one day of maybe like one and a few hours uh, building, is this idea of like building without buildings, just the act of build, with, like putting putting these uh, books on the on the floor and changing also like the dynamic of, of public space. But it's important to say that uh, this project uh, born somehow in in a very specific uh, political context, and, and it was in. 2013 in the national strike of uh, the public university, the, the state universities in Venezuela, where we were fighting for so many more resources uh, to the government uh, to make these uh, spaces alive. So we were trying to do a different kind of protest or of, um, rather than to close a highway or somehow like something that they could be with no many useful like to make just a, a banner. So we decided to bring all the knowledge that we have been producing in the university with so many research, with a huge donation from different schools uh, that people can take. And also we were looking for, like, for the sympathy and empathy for the, like, the society in the struggle that we considered that it wasn't not only concerns uh, to us as a professor and a student, it was like a struggle that should be for all the citizens. And I brought, I brought this up because then, like, this practice started to change, and from books, we started to work with other kind of matters, and materials, and, and people. And, and this is also with a, a student from architecture in Costa Rica, when we were building a volcano, like in one to one of a scale of the volcano. Uh, we also can be part of the line of research. <laughs> and, and then, like, this form started to, to change. Uh, and somehow this practice started more connected to art and like began to, the, to be part of the art world. Um, that's something that I need to face uh, with my background from architecture and understand, understand this dynamic. Uh, and then the work started to be more political, like this work in Chile where we are burying the, the flags in the sea as a statement against, national, against nationalism. Or this project in, in La Mancha where, where we were building this uh, uh, architecture with the body and measuring the voice of the of the space of the landscape re related with the population in the little towns in in Spain, or this project is extremely focused uh, to architecture, uh, even when it somehow takes uh, things from from the art, uh, where a student from architecture design a house for their own body. But I brought it as uh, brought this up because I always found interesting that even most of this practice. Uh, it's connected uh, to, to the space and also to, to build something or, or with some kind of material. I found interesting that uh, this project, Biblioteca Abierta, is the only one that we don't build anything, we just use the space, but even though I think it's the most connected with uh, architecture, just programming the, the surface and, and its pure function, which makes also the difference between arts. And somehow, uh, besides of the particular context where the project born in the, in the strike of the public universities, uh, it was a very successful project that we decided that we need to take to other places. So it was a strategy also to transform other places. And its connection also is connected with uh, this idea of uh, white elephants, that we have a lot of that in, in Venezuela because of our big uh, modernity. And that now they are like a place with no use and abandoned. So we, it was a, another way to transform these uh, places in, in, in a library and occupy through a different way of reprogramming and recovering public space. 
And this work also work uh, through, an, uh, through an open call. It's an open project where everyone can participate. As I said before, there is not a fee, there is no exchange. That's very important uh, for me. That uh, we do a lot of open call also not, not only to be that day, also like to, to collect the books from different people and institutions. And somehow it uh, began to be a strategy to many people that doesn't know how to do with big libraries or something that uh, they have from other families. So, uh, and people can many can throw away so many things, but no books. So it was a, a, another way to, to reuse these, uh, uh, these objects and also recover the, the value of the books as an object itself. It works uh, through like a very like a lot of institutional partnership, uh, working with several institutions to make it possible, and also with community participation to decide how and where uh, put uh, this project. Um, it perfectly uh, fit in this category that I found very interesting about systematic change and social uh, impact uh, as part as part of the of future architecture. Um, after a lot of projects in the city, most of them, like uh, several plazas and important and, uh, spaces or abandoned spaces, we began this uh, pilot project in the favelas, in these poor areas uh, in, in Caracas. Um, it was very interesting because we discovered that the, the people who most enjoyed the, the, the project was the kids in the area. Um, Venezuelan crisis is a huge uh, theme, but I, uh, I will only address one reflection that uh, not only because it's connected with the origin of this project as a track of, uni uh, of the public university, uh, also because the day that we start this pilot project in these favelas, the government uh, began a, a specific project that they call CLAP, which is a kind, kind of like a bag of food that they uh, give uh, to the people for free, but they somehow they need to be part of their party, um, and it's connected with uh, with this problem that it is food is very hard to get. So made us it was very visible this idea of uh, about free books and free food, and make me thought in this idea of like a oppression through food and this emancipation through knowledge. Um, this is like a project that is still going on, um, but sorry. And it's important for me to say that I think there is so many layers involved in this project that is not about our pure function, as I said. I think for me it's also like about the aesthetic experience of discover these books in, in, in the public space, I think that's one of the reasons that uh, the children was enjoying so much. Uh, and I think that makes a difference from many other ways and projects related to books in public space. I think it's more about the aesthetic experience as an artwork, even when it's taking something very connected with architecture, which is like just pure program. Um, I find that in this uh, future architecture uh, event a very good opportunity, especially because they call ideas. And, and I think for me, Biblioteca Abierta is still going an idea. All of the, of the projects that I've been developing, I develop it like somehow by my own and also like controlling how and where and the places. Uh, and I think that this project have the opportunity to grow and transform into kind of like a pesacusha where different places with a different structure can be developed uh, by its own. It's something that's very hard for me that I've, I've been not able to, to do it. But I think this is the real nature of, the, of this project. So let's be in touch, and this is a social network. Biblioteca Abierta has just begun, uh, well, beginning as, as, a, as a network, and Proyecto Colectivo is a platform from where I've been the, started at the beginning, all these participatory projects in public space. And the other one is uh, myself, where you can see a larger practice between, at the intersection between art, architecture, and also uh, education. But all of the projects, well, actually, I think that's also another reason that I like about the Biblioteca Abierta, the, that even different kind of practice that I think developed that are connected with landscape participation. I think this, all these social practice and participatory projects have this idea, the interest in, in knowledge and, and education. Thank you.